controls for the exterior lighting are located on the exterior lighting overhead panel. Notice the layout of the switches and their position on this panel. There are three synchronized strobe lights installed, one on each wing tip and one below the tail cone. These lights are controlled by the three position strobe switch. On and off positions manually turn on or off the strobe lights. The auto position will cause the strobe lights to operate automatically when the main gear strut is not compressed. Thus, auto operates the strobes when the aircraft is in flight. If the strobe lights are off in flight, the green strobe light off memo message displays on the engine warning display or EWD. There are two flashing red beacon lights, one on top and one on the bottom of the fuselage. They are controlled by the two position beacon switch. The beacon lights are turned on before aircraft movement or before engines start. There are two wing lights on each side of the fuselage. The lights are turned on to illuminate the leading edge of the wing and the engine air intake when a visual inspection of icing is desired. The two wing lights are controlled by the two position wing switch. There are two sets of navigation lights on each wing tip and in the APU tail cone. This provides a full backup set of navigation lights to be selected by the crew when necessary. Both sets of navigation lights are controlled by the three position nav and logo switch. The off position turns all navigation and logo lights off. Position 1 turns on the logo lights and the first set of navigation lights, while position 2 turns on the logo lights and the second set of navigation lights. Logo lights are installed in the upper surface of each horizontal stabilizer to illuminate the logo on the vertical stabilizer. The logo lights are controlled by the nav and logo switch in addition to some automatic sensors. Logo lights can operate only when the main gear strut is compressed or when the slats are extended. Thus, logo lights only operate on the ground or after takeoff and before landing. The taxi and takeoff lights are installed on the nose landing gear as shown. They are normally controlled by the three position nose switch and can be turned on only when the landing gear is extended. The off position turns off both the taxi and takeoff lights. The taxi position turns on only the taxi light. The takeoff position turns on both the taxi and takeoff lights. Note, 
the taxi and takeoff lights automatically extinguish when the landing gear is retracted, regardless of the switch position. The turnoff lights are located just below the taxi and takeoff lights on the nose landing gear. The turnoff lights are normally controlled by the two position runway turnoff switch. The on position turns on both lights when the landing gear is extended and the off position turns them off. Just like the taxi and takeoff lights, the turnoff lights will automatically extinguish when the landing gear is retracted regardless of the switch position. There is one retractable landing light located under each wing. There is a three position control switch for each landing light. The retract position is selected to turn off and retract the associated landing light. The on position extends the associated landing light. The light illuminates when fully extended. The off position turns off the associated landing light but leaves the light assembly extended. When the landing lights are extended, the green landing light memo message displays on the EWD. Let's answer those questions.